Hello, this is Camly Tan, and today, whoa, I'm going to be doing a review on my favorite wheel ever, the Tunnel Funnels. They're a, the newest of the Tunnel, from the to the Tunnel family, um, so they're kind of, uh, they're, they're hard, harder to find than some of the other Tunnel wheels, um, because they're just so new-ish. They come out like last summer, so they're not that new, but like Tunnel hasn't come out with a newer wheel yet. Um, so the specs for this wheel are um, 77 millimeters tall and um, 76A in hardness. Um, so let's talk about sliding first. So since this wheel is soft since like most wheels have a hard time sliding especially when you're down to like 76a which is relatively soft compared to the p wheels that are popular now which are like 86a and 80 all like really high in like 70s or 80s um this one's relatively soft <clears throat> so the problem that most people have with the soft wheels is that it's har it's harder to break that friction barrier when when you're sliding um, Tunnel actually did a really good job of solving that and with giving it such a rounded lip. Um, you can't really see it that well because I've worn these wheels so, worn these wheels down so much. Just to give you a reference, this is a, uh, Tunnel Tarantula, 70 millimeters tall. This is a Tunnel Funnel. It's supposed to be 77 millimeters tall. It's not. So, as you can tell, this is a very worn down wheel. So, the, the thing, the, uh, lip is not as rounded as it comes. Um, so, and... So when you uh so because of that rounded lip, it slides a lot easier. Um, so you're gonna break that friction barrier very easily. Um, a lot more easily than um on a wheel like this with a sharp edge. And it's seven. It's actually seventy eight mil uh, enduro. So that's really nice to have such a soft wheel that can slide this easily, because since it's so soft, it can um actually like. It's really smooth when you're sliding. It's not as rough as a slide as uh, the like harder wheels. So it's nice and soft, so it gives you a smooth slide. But it has these really rounded lips, which makes sliding like getting into the slide a lot easier, and you can hold the slides out longer. Um, but there is one problem: it slides so easily that it will slide out sometimes, like when you're doing G turns relatively fast. Um, so that's something to look out for. Um, that's mainly caused because the contact patch is so small. Once again, this is my 70 millimeter uh, tarantula, and this contact patch is wider. And the funnel comes with a smaller contact patch, as I've worn this down so far in, that it's gotten wider. So that's one reason it kind of slides out, and that's another reason why sliding is so easy on it. Um, also, something like the wear pattern. This thing has a STR formula urethane, which is not like regular urethane. Um, and I'm not sure if you can tell, but it's like marbled urethane. So there's like swirls of green, uh, darker green, and this light green and yellow. So um, it look, first off, it looks awesome. Like it's like a really, re really unique look for a longboard wheel. Um, and also, it's like the reflex formula almost for uh, Ebec 11. It just lasts longer. Um, it acts like a harder urethane, but it still offers that smooth slide. And um, it has a really nice wear pattern. Like, I've been riding since these since last summer, and you can tell it's, like, hardly coned compared to, like, some other wheels that I've ridden that I've coned quite a bit. So, um, yeah, these, this STR formula really, really, like, helps. Like, the wear pattern is extremely smooth with this. It doesn't cone, it doesn't wear down too much on one side. Um, so all around these wheels are really, really nice for sliding. Um, but I wouldn't get them if all you're doing is sliding. If you're all you're doing is sliding, then I'd get like Lanyard's Zombie Hog or something like that. Um, next thing I use these wheels for is free riding. Um, one downside to uh, free riding with these is that they're very heavy wheels. Since they make these, the Tunnels are kind of an old school company. Um, they don't really put that much technology into the wheels except for the formula of the urethane. So it's a really heavy wheel. Um, so, I mean, it, it's not that big of a problem. It's just a little something to get used to. You just gotta push your board a little bit more. 
Um, it's being it's not that big of a deal, but that's the only downside. Also, um, like they just ride like since they have this rounded lip, the uh, pieces won't like tip off. Like if you land side like kind of if you like rail, land on the railing board and your wheel slide like hits the ground like that, it won't really chip off because it has this rounded uh, lip, and so that keeps it from just like falling apart on you. Uh, once again, since these are soft wheels, they do grip really nice unless you like push too hard and then they'll slide. So um, they're all around really good grips, but um. Like that, like I said, if you push too hard, like on the back wheel, like your like, like if it looks like feels like a slide, like it's hard to explain. So if you're carving, if you, once you learn how to slide, you kind of turn like the same kind of feeling as you as when you're sliding. So you kind of turn the same way as you slide. And so if you make a sharp turn, your uh, your wheels will kind of slide out. But I mean, these actually haven't haven't had any problem with that actually happening. So um. They haven't slid. They haven't slid out when I'm turning. They've only slid out while I uh, do G turns, like at a downhill angle. That's the only time I've ever had these slide out. Um. So. Uh, oh, so if you want to buy these wheels, what you're gonna really want to be doing on your board is a a mix of freestyle and sliding. So, like. So uh, that's basically what I do on my Tantian and what most people do like with Loaded. Um, so I mean, these are really, really good all-around wheel. They're definitely my favorite wheel from my favorite wheel company. Definitely. Like, I if you haven't tried Tunnel yet, I definitely recommend trying Tunnel like a lot. These are my favorite wheels I've ever ridden. So I'm going to be doing another review tonight of my other Tunnel Tarantula. So... Um, keep an eye out for that. So, uh, goodbye. Love you.